Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In the last video, we had started with the styling of our single page website. So we had styled all this till the My Works section. Now in this video, we will complete the styling of our website. So let's get started. Now the next section we want to style is the testimonial section. So let's go to the original design and we can see that for the testimonial section we need to have a different background color. So let's go to our HTML and here we will add some classes. Now since we want to add a different background color to the testimonial section we need to give it a class. If you don't give a class and just target the section then all the sections will be selected. So let's give a class to our testimonial section. We'll just give it a class of testimonial section and uh, there are two images right here one is for the icon and one is for uh, the photo now we want to target both of these separately so we'll also give a class to this icon we will just give it a class of quote icon and there are two paragraphs over here as well so for this paragraph we will give a class of testimonial text so now we are done with the HTML. Now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's start by creating a comment. First of all, we target the testimonial section class and we'll give a background color of 07050D and we can see that the background color is being added. Now let's set the color of the text to light gray. And we can see that only this one is being affected. That's because the paragraph already have a style in our CSS. So if you scroll up, we can see for the paragraph we have already given a color. So we need to go over here and type testimonial section P and then set the color over here. Or I will also set the padding to zero for top and bottom and 24 pixels for left and right. Now let's set the display of the testimonial section to flex so that we have these elements one next to the other and we'll also align everything to the center vertically by typing align item center. All right, now we'll rotate this image a little and also give it a border radius. So here we will type testimonial section says IMG and we'll type border radius of 24 pixels and transform rotate to minus 4 degrees. Now let's style the heading over here. So here we'll type testimonial section says S3 and we'll give a margin top of 36 pixels and then we'll give a font size of 24 pixels We'll also set the margin left to 24 pixels. And for the company name, we have some margin top. So let's target that. We'll type testimonial section says company name and we will type margin top zero. We also need to change the color of both these text. So here we'll type color and we'll set the color to FF4D4D and we'll just copy the same line of code over here. Now let's target this testimonial text. So here we'll type testimonial section, testimonial text and for the testimonial text we will set a padding left of 100 pixels and a padding right of 48 pixels and we'll also give it a font size of 20 pixels. Now let's style this icon. So here we'll type testimonial section quote icon and we'll set the opacity to 0 0.5 and we'll set the position to absolute and we'll set the position of the container that is the testimonial section to relative Right now we'll set the top position to 72 pixels 
and the left to 95 pixels. All right, we are almost done with the testimonial section. Now we'll just change the padding of the testimonial section. So we will scroll up over here and here we'll type padding. And for the top, we will give a padding of 65 pixels. And for the right, 120 pixels. For the bottom, we will give a padding of 50 pixels. And for the left, we will give a padding of 120 pixels. All right, so that's basically it for the testimonial section. Now the next thing we need to style is the contact section. So let's go to our CSS and we'll create a new comment. Now let's go to our HTML and see how the markup is laid out. So here we have a division with the class of email, phone and address. And in those divisions we have a division with the class of contact text. So let's go to our CSS and we'll target all those classes. So we'll type section, email, comma, section phone comma section address and for all these classes we will set the display to flex we will align items to the center and we'll also give a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom 24 pixels left and right so this is how it looks now let's target the contact text so we'll type section contact text and uh, we will give a margin left of 40 pixels. So that's it with our contact section. Now lastly, let's style our footer. So we'll go over here and uh, type footer. So for the footer, we'll give a background color of 07050D and the color of the text to light gray. We'll also set a padding of 48 pixels and text aligned to the center and font weight to bold so there's our footer now the last thing we need to do in our css is that whenever we click on any of these menu items we need to go to that section so for example if you click on about me then we need to go to this section right here so let's go to our html and uh, in the href you have just written hash but now we'll change it to different sections now if you wanted to go to a different page then you can put the link of the page right here but since our website is a single page website we want to go to a section that is in the current page itself so for that we can use IDs so if you go to about me section over here and we'll give it an ID of about me and now if you go over here and uh, here we will type hash about me and let's save it and let's go to our page and if you click on about me we can see that we get taken to the about me section so we will do the same with all our sections so here we'll type work here we'll type testimonials and here we'll type contact and we'll add these IDs to our sections so let's go over here to my work section and we'll type ID work and for the testimonial section we will give an ID of testimonials and for the contact section we'll give an ID of contact now let's go to our website and see whether it works so the about me section works my work section works and the testimonials and we have a little bit of offset over here so we need to be taken to this position right here we'll fix that in a little bit and uh, then we have the contact section and it also works all right so let's fix the offset that we have when we click on the testimonials menu item. Now what we'll do over here is that we will remove the ID testimonials from here and we'll create a division right here and we'll type div with a class of testimonials and we'll go to the style.css and we'll add some styles over here. So here we'll type hash testimonials which is the testimonials ID and we'll give it a margin bottom of 76 pixels now let's check whether it works so now we can see that the testimonial section has the correct offset now we also need to make this logo a link so that when we click on the logo we go to the start of our page so go to the index.html and uh, here for the logo we'll create an anchor tag and we'll type home over here 
and uh, we will close this after the image and for the header we will give an id of home so let's check whether it works and it works all right now let's add smooth scrolling to our page so go to our style.css and uh, here we will type html and we'll type scroll behavior and we'll set it to smooth now when we click on any of these menu items we can see that we move to that section smoothly all right that's it with the styling i will leave the link of the source code in the description below so if you like this video please click on the like button and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day